we have far to go still in terms of the international dialogue about migration. And um, we know that uh, often that dialogue, it's overrun with um, uh, negative prejudicial uh, statements and xenophobic attitudes uh, in many countries. And uh, we hope that we can counter that, uh, to some extent at least, uh, with facts. Uh, the, the reality on the ground and the, the positive aspects of migration that are so often lost in the discussion. Um, and uh, we hope that by documenting about the lives of migrants that can possibly create some sympathy for them because after all migrants are people struggling with their situation in many cases or they're challenged in any case. Even if they've chosen freely to migrate, um, to move, to uproot yourself and go to another country, of course, is challenging, it's disruptive in your life, and I think they deserve our support. And, um, and those are in the best of circumstances, but in the worst of circumstances, of course, uh, there are humanitarian crises that drive people to move, and in all these situations, I think it's, it's good to understand the lives of migrants and what's going on from their perspective, and hopefully that can bring some human sympathy uh, to the situation. Migration is part of development, how it um, promotes development in the countries of origin because it provides a source of revenue through remittances and it, it uh, you know, creates contacts and connections uh, for trade and uh, exchange of ideas and, and many other things that are important for moving the world forward in a positive way. And the impacts of migration on developed countries, or not just developed countries, the countries that receive migrants, um, there are many positive aspects, even though it can be challenging, and we have to acknowledge the difficulties too, sometimes for the native population uh, in the countries that, is, that are receiving migrants. Of course, it's, it's, not, it's not that there's, there are no problems. There are problems that arise because of this, and we have to acknowledge that and uh, try to find ways to smooth that out and, and to help those who are affected by migration whether they are the migrants themselves or, or the uh, people who are residing in, their in the countries that receive the migrants or those who are left behind in the countries of origin. Uh, there are many different groups involved who are affected by this process of migration. We need to document that. We need to understand that clearly and hopefully with better information, better knowledge of how these things are happening and how they're all linked together, we can, we can do a better job in terms of formal policies and uh, our understanding can lead to a smoother process of migration for everyone involved.